Um, so because I am running as a different user, I actually have to use sudo, or you know, I have to gain root in order to do this. If I were running as the www user, as the same user as Nginx is running, I wouldn't have to do that because I'm targeting Nginx. So, the PID is 1025. So what this command does is it injects a shared object. Uh, test is the name of my shell code, my shell code file, and uh, this is the path to the malicious, malicious shared object that I'm going to inject. Inject, and receive is the function I'm going to hook. Oh yes, actually. Um, yeah, because I have to procstat-free pin. Do I give it a PID? No. Yes, I do, but I can't. There we go. Uh, yes. So you see that it's got, you know, Nginx loaded, and there's probably, that's probably the top line now is probably the heap. And then it's got the runtime linker loaded and all the stuff for that. Gcrypt and PCRE and um, MD hashing libraries and, and libz, the zlib stuff. Libc and libthread. So we actually what we have to do is we, the, what the runtime linker usually does is in its default configuration, it does a lady, lazy um, resolving of functions. So the very first time you run, uh, the very first time you run a function, you, you call a function, its address is not actually not in the GOT. It's at the address that's in the GOT is a uh, is a stub address for that points to the runtime linker, and then the runtime linker actually goes and resolves and replaces the GOT address um, uh, uh, with with yeah with that address with the with the resolved address. So we're just going to connect and let it call receive once, and now we'll do our injection. That's some debugging output there. Actually, I need to show you guys that. Okay, so I just restarted Nginx because the I already injected the stuff. So I need to show, show you guys that when I enter my custom string, it's, it doesn't drop me into a shell. So now I am going to uh, there. You are fifteen twenty nine. Okay. Now we're going to inject into that process. And now we're dropped into a shell. Pretty easy. So that is the presentation. Does anyone have any questions?